Welcome to the uh, lesson on assessing normality, the very short lesson on assessing normality. Uh, if you're going to be a professional statistician or you're really going to do these things for real and try and publish and, and all that kind of stuff, then assessing normality is very important because if your data uh, is not normal, doesn't come from a normal distribution, a lot of the techniques that you use just don't hold up. So you need to know if your data is normal or not, and if it isn't, you need to make adjustments and, and all sorts of stuff. But for us, for what we're going to be doing, it's it's very minor, and it, and it doesn't entail a lot of things. And in fact, there's not a lot of stuff you can do other than let technology create a normal quantile plot for you, and then you look at it and go, yeah, it looks pretty normal to me. So that's why it's a short lesson. A normal quantile plot is just uh, very similar to a scatter plot. It's a bunch of dots on the screen, and then there's a straight line, and all you're doing is assessing the pattern of those dots. I mean, you can read here about what the dots actually are. Each x, y is uh, the data value, right? X is your original piece of data, and then y is the corresponding z-score from that data value. There are three things that you're looking for when you're trying to determine whether or not um, your data comes from a normally distributed population, right? So you're trying to determine if your sample comes from a population of data that has a normal distribution. The first thing you should always do is construct, construct a histogram. It's very easy to do, um, and the shape you know, gives you a, a good idea of what's going on. Obviously, you're looking for a shape that looks close to the normal curve. One peak in the middle tapers out fairly evenly on both sides. That's about it. You're looking for outliers. You want to see if there are any outliers in your data. You can normally see that with a histogram. You can do a box and whisker plot, a bunch of different things, but you're looking for outliers. And really, you shouldn't have more than one or two, like one maybe on each side. The normal quantile plot uh, is a more uh, robust measurement of normality. You really want to do it with technology. You can do it by hand, but it is a very tedious process. Um, after you look at all that criterion, the population is normal only if the dots on the normal quantile plot are pretty close to a straight line and have no obvious pattern. Okay, So that's what you're looking for when you look at a normal quantile plot. So obviously, any time they're spread apart from the line or have an obvious pattern, that's when they're considered uh, coming from a population that's not normal. Let's look at some examples. Here's a histogram on the left. Looks fairly normal. Might be a little bit skewed to the right. The normal quantile plot is on the left, and you can see the dots are fairly close to the line. There's a couple you know, here or there that aren't that good, and there's no real pattern. Next, a uniform distribution so we know is obviously not normal and then look at your points they all line up close to the line but you can see a very distinct pattern right? it almost looks like um, a propeller and then a severely skewed set of data will have uh, a normal quantile plot kind of similar to that where you'll get a lot of dots kind of stacking up on each other like that um, along the axis here and that's it guys let the technology run the plot for you and then you're just looking at whether or not it seems normal-ish. There are other um, measurements it's, uh, that will give you like a numerical measurement of how close to normal it is. And oftentimes when you run a normal quantile plot, it will give you those measurements along with it. But the easiest thing to do is just look at the plot.